What's up traders? This is Hugh. As you can see, it's a beautiful day today here in California. Uh, just running some errands, went to take my bike out for a ride. And I'm um, here at this cool park. And I'll show you something cool in a bit, but uh, I just want to let you know that in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the MetaTrader Alerts default sound. I know that sounds kind of weird, but um, somebody asked that question, so I wanted to be sure to answer it. Uh, but yeah, this park is really cool. So on this side, you can see the uh, San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. And then on this side, you can see the Bay Bridge. So um, it's, it's a great little park to hang out in. And um, I come here often, but anyway, so I'll see you back at the office. What's up traders? This is Hugh Kimura. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the default alert noise in MetaTrader 4. So as you probably know, I have some alert indicators for sale that will give you an alert via email, text message, uh, push notification, or on-screen pop-up with an, with an aud audible noise. So uh, if you wanna change what that noise is, this is how you do it. You go into Tools, go to Options, and then go to the Events tab, and then make sure Enable is checked. And then you're gonna look at alert down here, alert.wave, so that's the default file. You can just double click on it, and then you can select another file that you wanna use. If that file is not here, then you can go to choose other, and then you can find that file anywhere in your computer. It's actually easier to drop it into this folder, so um, you can look at the top here and look at where this these sound files are stored. You can drop it into there, and that'll make it easier to keep it all in one place. Um, there, some people did report some problems of uh, the the new wave file not saving, so it would just go back to default alert.wave. And if that happens, then what you can do is rename this alert.wave something else, and then rename your new file to alert.wave, and that'll automatically pick it up as a default. So pretty simple but I hope that helps. And if you wanna see the alert indicators that I have, go to tradingheroes.com and you'll also get a lot more tutorials and tips on backtesting and trading. And if you like this video, please like it below. All right, thanks a lot.